Alrighty, well, good evening, everybody. Well, um, I thought I'd uh, go ahead and showcase this new class that I that I started playing. Um, and then I'll sketch in a little bit of background here. Um, earlier I tried to do a I drew I tried to do a stream of this game, Guild Wars 2, but I only lasted about an hour, and then the game crashed. Well, fast forward to this evening, after after shutting off my computer for about an hour or so, uh, firing it back up. Well. No, it works fine. So, I um, I pulled this class out of the mothballs. It's um, it's a class that I haven't played in a while. So it's um, uh, it is the thief class. So, but uh, before I continue, um, like usual, I'm gonna have some music playing in the background. Uh, this time around, it's gonna be Hemlock Goblin, uh, Sylvan Shadows, and Draconian Whispers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that going. So, um, the, the Thief class is kind of unique, and as you can see by these, um, little pips down here at the bottom, this is their initiative. Now, it kind of works like an energy, an energy meter in, uh, some other games, like the, uh, like the, like the Rogue class in World of Warcraft. Um, and then, uh, if you, uh, look here. Um, if you look at the number in the upper right corner, three, and the diamond next to it, that's how many pips this ability requires. I think I might have picked a bad time to do this. Yeah, there's, uh, doing events here in the, in the territory I'm in is part of the, today's dailies. So, I'm hoping, um, I'm actually wanting to do a demo using this guy here. So I hope they don't kill him. So but anyway, dude, keep on going. Um, but yeah, it's each of these abilities here. There's no cooldown. But um, each of them requires a certain amount. Like I'll, I don't have to have a target for this, but <sighs> see, three pips are gone, and you restore one pip every second. So, but that's the big one, and then there, there is their steel ability. It's a, it's actually an ability I don't use very much. So it, yeah, but you would um, like it um, uh, let's find a forest boar here. If you got close enough, hit F1, you steal from them, and then you get a random item. And then I'll eat my dust. But um, this is actually, at least with the setup that I have, it's actually a, a somewhat difficult class to play. Cause um, a good chunk of your um, like looking at this ability here, for example, um, do an invasive attack, meaning uh, during the time that you're if you're doing that, you're evading all attacks. So, you can't just, uh, you can't just cast these abilities willy-nilly. Um, this ability here, it kind of works the same way. But, um, the abilities on the right, they're... They're all utility skills, and they are on cooldowns. So. But, uh, and then, let me, um... Oh, and uh, before I continue in here, I do use uh, an additional weapon. And the way, um... The way weapon swapping works in this game is if you're out of combat... You can swap. You can swap back and forth as much as you want. But in combat, if you swap, here, let's do this again. Oh, that had to hurt. Now, at, uh, as you can see, it goes on a 10-second cooldown. So. But 
like I said, this class, at least with what I have set up, it's a little bit tricky. Especially for a guy like this big old veteran Okar here. He's got a big old smash attack. He'll knock you backwards if you don't dodge out of it in time. He made it. I dodged it. So... There you go, dodged out of it. Dodged out of it. So, and normally, with my other classes, I'm pretty big on having stability. Stability in your class, it's all pretty much mandatory with me. This class here kind of breaks that rule, again, because... I mean, this ability here, it, you can use it to dodge out of attacks, including ones that can stun you and lock you down and all that. So, and I think this one here is an evasive attack as well. And then the rest of these, um, if you can see at the bottom, break stun. So I do have some backup in case I get knocked down or yanked around and all that. And that's... So... But, um... And then, uh, for, those that, for those that have never played this game before, um... Uh, when you... At least when you're at max level... Which is, uh, I believe, level 80... You'll have up to five different specializations. Each specialization with their own with their own talent tree. So, so it, and this is basically a class cannon trait, but they all have different traits. Um, but I guess kind of the big one that I really want to. And, um, Swiftness is actually another, uh, another buff that's pretty much mandatory in all my, uh, in all my, uh, classes. This one here kind of, it sort of kind of breaks that rule. Normally I have to, like, actually have, uh, abilities, like some kind of ability in all my other classes that, that uh, triggers it. This one here, all I gotta do is roll once and I got me some Swiftness, so... Well, there goes my old cart. Was hoping to practice on him again, but nope. So it's almost like World of Warcraft all over again. So, uh, unless there's another area where I can get him, but. Of course, he doesn't, he doesn't know that I'm trying to do a video here. But yeah, this is a very bad location to do this. I should have just done this in a, in a PvP area, but I wouldn't have been able to show what I wanted to show in the, in the PvP lobby, so... alone. I'm kind of doing a video here, honey. Okay. Oh. Uh, let me get back to what I was talking about, but one of the other things, at least for the spec that I have here, acrobatics, as it says here, focused on dodging attacks and increasing mobility. One of them is that. Um, whenever I use a healing skill, then I'll get bigger. For those that don't know, the this here, this is your endurance. Every time you dodge, you use up half of it. I 
and then bigger. If and, if and whenever you get the buff, it's gonna increase that endurance re regeneration by 75%. Um, if I had a sword, I'd probably have this, but I prefer to go without double daggers. And uh, as it says here, dual wield, you have to dual wield daggers in order to use this. So, so went with that. On concentration, um, for those that don't know, it increases the duration of all of your buffs. And this here, um, you'll get more, you'll get more of these pips, and you'll. Uh, You'll regenerate some health if you successfully evade an attack. So, like I said, this um, this class here, at least the way I have it set up, is a little bit tricky. Okay, better know a card is up. And then um, and then they have deadly arts. This is um, uh, it's poison. Um, yeah, again, I don't steal that much. Oh wow, I thought they were gonna attack me. It's a lucky day. You know, and then again, it was a stealth attack. Ah, that's something else. That is another uh, mechanic that thieves have. Stealth attack. If, um, I don't, like this ability here, I don't know if you have to actually have a target. Yeah, I think you have to actually hit. But if, here, I'll, I'll change up one of these. I'll just use this. So when you go into stealth, I believe it's going to be attack number one. In fact, it even shows right here. If you look at the bottom, backstab, that's the stealth attack. So again, a little bit tricky to set up. Here we'll... And that's what happens when you when you don't dodge. There we go. Dodged it. Dodged it. But you kind of get you kind of get the idea though. Like I said, the thief class, it's a bit, it's a little bit tough to use because once again, it's it's not like my engineer. My main, you know, for the most part, just uh, keep shooting flamethrower, you know, just use, you know, basically whack a mole, you know, whack a mole abilities as they come up. So. You know, so you, you know, um, and also, about these specializations, you can change them out at any time. As long as you're not in combat, you can change them up. In fact, if you look up here, you can uh, you can use uh, different templates. But again, you got to be out of combat in order to do them. Yeah, same thing here. And then trickery, I think this is the. Uh, I think I originally had this. Um, okay, that's on a one minute cooldown. No way. Okay. Yeah, I think uh, I had that. This is gonna. This is a more party friendly trait. On oh, expertise. It's a it's a stat that increases the uh, the amount of time your debuffs stay on your enemies. Oh, 
Oh, that was something else, too. So, yeah, this... Urge to kill rising! Whoops. Feels good. Whoop, too early. Not out of it. Ah, uh, let's see. What else did I need to show? Like I said, I believe this is my uh, more more party oriented. So yeah, now it's now it's down to a 17 second cooldown. And then shadow step, um, all that means is you teleport to your target. That feels good. And there's my stealth attack. So, but yeah, when you um, when you go into stealth, your next attack becomes a stealth attack. And him. Okay, there might have must have been something I missed about that. Again. Now is it still the tap? That's why. I totally forgot about this. I thought um I'm used to playing Final Fantasy 14 and World of Warcraft where when you go into stealth, you stay in stealth, like until you actually attack. Ooh. Uh oh. I still think I picked a bad time to do this. Or I should say a bad area. So. But yeah, like I, like I said, I'm, I'm used to other MMOs where stealth is permanent until you actually attack somebody or you intentionally shut it off. In this game here, um, you, it only lasts for like three seconds. Yeah, same thing here, three seconds. But luckily... You can sort of, kind of, do it here, but again, you have to actually be attacking somebody. But uh, when you when you do go into stealth, then uh, your first attack here becomes a stealth attack. Eat my dust. Yeah. Just wait on all 
this. Well, uh, that's my thief. Um, just wanted to showcase him. And, um, and I forgot to mention this uh, at the start of the video, but, um, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm still working on my uh, Final Fantasy XIV blog post. So, I, I was at a point where, um, it was going to be a lot easier to just make a video about what I want to talk about than to have to sit here and spend all night trying to type it all out. So, I figured it'd be a lot easier to show than tell. So, but anyway, um, but otherwise, kind of lost my train of thought. But anyway, just thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye now.